Hello everyone, this is Mason from Mason J Tech Advice, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the UNet boot in tool to install and download Linux based operating systems. So, you want to go ahead and go to your browser. I use Google Chrome, and then you want to go to your search bar and type in UNet boot in. So, once you go ahead and finish that, um, it should be the first option that comes up, so you want to go ahead and click on that. And then there's um, versions for Mac, Linux, and I have Windows 8, so I'll be using this option. So you want to go ahead and click on that. It'll bring you to the SourceForge download page. And once you're here, there'll be a lot of options that say click here to download. Do not click those. It'll start a countdown and do it automatically. So you just want to do that, and then when it finishes, click on it and it will bring up UNet boot in. So there you are. So there's a list of these. I recommend Googling them and finding which one you like. So once you figure out which operating system that you want to use, you want to go ahead and plug in your USB and then uh, move to your file manager and locate the device, the USB that you want to make into the bootable drive and you want to format that. Um, I'm naming mine Lubuntu because that is the operate, operating system name that I'm using. And um, you want to have a larger one than I'm using because Lubuntu is a very light operating system. I would recommend 8 gigs or more. Make sure you use the default um, file format. And then you want to click start. Erase all data. Okay. Finished. Okay. So once you exit out of these windows, you're going to want to locate your UNet boot in tool. By doing that on Windows 8, I pull up the search bar and type in UNet boot in. Otherwise, it's located in your downloads file. So once it's up, um, you want to make sure that you have the right USB device selected. And then uh, you want to select your distribution. And like I said, my distribution choice is Lubuntu, which is right there. And then uh, there's all sorts of versions. I just use the most recent one. And then uh, make sure everything's correct once again, and then start it. So then uh, it'll start extracting the files and uh, putting them onto this USB. And this will take some time, so you're going to have to be patient. And um... So once the installation is done, um, you can just eject the USB from your computer. And then um, you want to plug it into your computer, and then uh, you want to configure your BIOS to boot from the USB. And then um, it will give you a few options, such as trying the operating system or installing it. I would recommend trying it first just to see if you like it. And um, if you like it, then you want to install it. Go ahead and install it. And you can actually, you can also install it right onto the USB, which means that you can use it on virtually any computer. So let's say you're at your friend's house and you want to use his laptop, but you don't want all his settings. You can just plug this USB in, boot from it, and then it's your computer while using someone else's. It's actually pretty convenient. Um, it can save you money. Instead of buying your own computer, you could just <laughs> use other people's computers, I guess. But uh, there's how you do that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you later. Hey guys, if you liked the video, uh, please like. If you didn't, dislike. Um, if you have any questions, email me at masonjtechadvice at gmail.com or leave it in the comments and subscribe. Thank you.